day three. Don't judge me that I have the same shirt on, okay? I When I take my weekends off, I uh, wear the same clothes, especially if I don't go out. Who cares? These are like my work clothes. I've been working in the basement, getting some things done. I was setting up my, I have a Joby um, tripod and it's not cooperating very well. <laughs> and I, I'm kind of like, not where I want to be, but I don't know how to make it better. So for right now, for the next 10 minutes or so, you're stuck. This is me right now. So I've got my tea. Um, I'm drinking caffeinated tea this fast. I actually did a little bit of research and caffeine does not break a fast. I don't put sugar in it. And the only concern is you have to watch if it upsets your stomach. And so far I've been okay in that area. So I don't have to worry about that. Um, so we already talked about the oxy powder yesterday. I'm going to put links in the um, comments. And if you guys want to order this stuff, and yes, there'll be affiliate links because I do affiliate marketing. But trust me, the price difference is no difference for you. And I make pennies. But all those pennies add up to about 20 bucks a month or something like that. So it's not a big deal, but it's just something that I'm doing. And hopefully one day it'll grow into something big. But anyway, today we're going to talk about, we talked about this yesterday. We talked about poo. So we're talking about the tongue, you know? Um, so right now, I want you guys all to run and look at your tongue. Like stick it out, nah, look in the mirror. I'll wait, all right? I'll have a sip of tea and uh, you guys come back, all right? Oh man, tea is good. You back? You back yet? So what color is your tongue? If you've got a beautiful pink tongue that doesn't have a lot of lines and crosses in it, um, thumbs up for you. But most likely anybody who eats an American standard diet does not have a beautiful pink tongue. Most likely your tongue is coated either white or yellow. And what that means is that you have too much sugar or too much carbs, carbs move into sugar in your body you're eating way too much. And like you know, I go carb hard all the time. I have to fight my carbs. I can do without chocolate and sweets and things like that, but ugh, put a bag of potato chips in front of me and it's gone. I just have no, no like whatever strength to stay away from a bag of chips, especially good chips. And yes, there are good chips. There's organic chips and non-GMO chips and you know, but still chips are chips and they're fried and they're carbs. Anyway, I go carb hard. If your tongue is coated, it just means you have a lot of candida in your system. Candida is basically yeast and male and female both can have yeast in their bodies and you want to get rid of that. When you fast, your tongue gets disgusting. I'll tell you that right now. It gets thick and it gets coated because basically it's detoxing and the carbs and the candida, it's not really the carbs, the candida, the yeast is coming out of your body. And you can kind of tell how you're doing in a fast by your tongue. I was sharing this with a neighbor today actually. And I use a tongue scraper as well because you don't wanna use your toothbrush, do not brush that because then you're gonna swallow it and then it's on your toothbrush and you don't wanna bleh, all that stuff all over the place. But if you ever see somebody and their tongue is like really like white or yellow, if you see green, it means something else. But white or yellow basically just means you have a lot of candida in your system and you basically should probably fast or probably back off the carbs and sugars a little bit. It means your body's like just a little too much, okay? So that's what we're talking about today, the tongue. And I thought <laughs> just to be fun, I'm going to take a picture of my tongue every day of the fast and make like a slideshow maybe okay if it's like really gross I probably won't do it but just to see the um the extent now I can tell you when I did that 15 day fast my tongue never totally cleared up in the back I still had um like white like a little bit back in there but other than that everything else was like really good 
so I don't know if I needed to do more days, but I was kind of done at 15. I actually could have gone on, but I felt that for my body, it was time to stop. So I did. So that's today's tongue talk. And I'm going to put down, I guess today, I will put a link to a tongue scraper. It's one that I use. And it's kind of gross, okay? But you take it and you just put it in your tongue as far back as you can go without gagging or throwing up or whatever. And you scrape it to the front. And I kind of just let it drop off into the sink and then I um, rinse it off and I do it again and again. And I did that last night actually and um you know my tongue doesn't hurt people think oh it's gonna hurt my tongue and it's gonna pull off all those little nubbies and the... it doesn't and i use a metal one so yeah you'll be fine you gotta man up sometimes or woman up or whatever person up however the correct way of saying things is um so day three i feel actually pretty good a little bit energetic i'm not as tired as i was but also i haven't been out i stayed home today um I had a little bit of electrolytes in my water and you know what I recycle these cups I'll use them over and over and over and over and over again um, and then I have my tea I'm going to have a little bone broth later and then for dinner I will have some of my green drink and that's about it I'm still amazed going to the bathroom you know what and you know how I try to be so delicate about this, but it's just real. People, if you can't be real with your own body, then, you know, don't even mess with fasting or anything like that because your body goes through some things. Um, so the stuff that comes out is still coming out, but it, instead it's coming out and it's like sludge, I guess would be a good way to say it. And it will, it doesn't float. It doesn't bond it's just um pieces of stuff and it just lays very at the bottom of the toilet kind of like um i don't know what would lay on the bottom i think charcoal would rise because it's kind of like that but it, it lays it lays flat and it's not fatty and it's heavy and it's gross and this is stuff that I believe, and I don't have, I don't know for sure, but I believe that this is the stuff that is like sticking, you know, to the walls of your, you know, colon, and it like is coming out last. It's like the water and the electrolytes and the green juice and stuff is just flushing you out. And it's really, it's just an amazing process. And you're gonna feel your body go through different things, okay? I mean, um, but most amazingly is your joints aren't going to hurt. Like my fingers never hurt. I actually had um, a hip, my one hip, man, it would just drive me crazy. And I would have to come home every day from work and do some crazy exercises just to unlock it and make it feel better. And on the first day of the fast, it literally stopped hurting and it hasn't really hurt since then. Every once in a while, I'll feel like a little twinge or something, but mm -mm, because the inflammation is gone. Now, when I go back to eating, I'm gonna have to be kind of cautious of what I'm eating and seeing what is inflaming my joints or my joint. And uh, that's something that you should know. Like eggs are healthy, but sometimes people can't eat them because they'll inflame them. Um, I like bread, bread, but I only like good bread, like sourdough. I can eat sourdough bread, no problem. I can eat bread from other nations, absolutely no problem. It's when you buy that crap in the store that, you know, is on your, you know, big box store um, shelf wrapped in plastic that if you brought it home, it would sit on your counter for like a month and not get moldy or icky. There's no food value there. There are some good breads out there. I like David's Bread. There's a local company here that um, every summer I buy their breads at a local fleet food market. Oh, and I want to just be real for you the last like maybe a few minutes here. I just want to be real. Do you know what's on my mind today? Yesterday, my mind was on cheese. I wanted a slice of cheese so bad. Why cheese? I love cheese, but why cheese? Why not chocolate or potato chips? I don't know, but I did buy some cheese. I went shopping and yes, I love to go shopping when I fast and I buy things that I'm going to need because eventually I will be eating again and I did buy potato chips and I bought some pretzels and, um, but I wasn't bothered by those. It was the cheese that I bought. 
Today, all I'm thinking about is we have a local place. Um, it's a little bit like a little franchise, I don't know. It started in the city and it's in a couple and now it's in the hometown where I work. Sulard Gyro or Euros. Oh man, that's all I'm thinking about today. Like, and I know that when I come off the fast, I'm not going to run and get a Euros because it would just be, <laughs> it would be catastrophe for my body. Uh, we'll talk about coming off a fast later, but yeah. So I'm I'm not an expert faster. I'm not a um, like oh it's easy for her. Like I said, I had a three day fast that it, it was horrid. It was awful. I was sick. I didn't feel good. It just wasn't right, and I stopped. And the same thing, you know, you guys will know your bodies, and you know you're gonna maybe suffer a little bit. And if you're heavy a coffee drinker or soda drinker, you're gonna get caffeine headaches, definitely. I drink tea, the caffeine is not as invasive as with um, those other two. So that's about it, got you 11 minutes. You guys have a great day. Any questions, comments, make sure you check the links. Help me out, all right? And that's about it. I'll even link you to my tea blog because that's where it's all happening and that's what I'm all about, tea. Talk to you later. Go outside. Do something nice for somebody today. There's somebody in my town who's actually paying for people's groceries. And instead of hoping that that person pays for you, why don't you pay for somebody else's today? So go out there and be kind. Have a great day.